Once again, for those of you just joining us, this is Winner's Finals of Hollywood Action Tuesdays, number 78, here at the iconic Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. Such a beautiful venue for this amazing tournament. 37 players looking to claim this title, but few are standing, and two of those right now are Vladin and Nito here in Winner's Finals. <laughs> a couple of down tilts from Vladin. Yeah, the game number two going on. And, um, yeah, Vladin just playing a bit back. He needs to try to, he wants to get um, Nito off stage. And now the shield pressure comes in from Nito. Vladin just drops shield. He'll be willing to sacrifice one hit for potential out of a shield break. Yep. Another sure you can good DI yeah. from Vladin to just save himself. Oh, got him with the with the weak down tilt, a heavy, um, heavy jab. And closing out the stock right there. Excellent work from Nito. As much as this matchup can be a living hell offstage, the best way to deal with that, don't go offstage in the first place. Another Shoryu connecting below the platform already with 47% and counting onto that second stock. Vladin, meanwhile, looking for a way in, just spacing with these nares, perhaps a couple of fares as well, but that up air, not the right option there, leads to a Shoryu punish. I yeah. like the idea to just go for Hadouken offstage, discourage the ledge guard in the entire, but the Nair offstage, not quite. Yep, and, and now this really bad for uh, Vladim, but good stuff coming in from Nito. Realizing that uh, Vladim was trying to cover the the recovery low, and he just uh, hey, tossed it back on the stage high. And now he's racking up all this damage yet again, and Vladim having a hard time dealing with this heavy jab. Already three stocks to one, not even two minutes in. Vladin already looking in trouble. The Dolphin Slash out of shield, not going to kill off the side. Takes it back safely. In the back air, not quite. Tatsu's back, but gonna have to focus around something. He does is successfully makes it back. Mm -hmm. Vladin been unable to get any edge guard, but the Nair will trap him at the ledge, finally securing that first stock, not a moment too soon. Mm -hmm. Gets him at the ledge with a two frame down tilt though. Oh, there's the Shoryuken, not gonna kill. Still holding it out, but now Nair into fair, just try to rack up as much percent as possible. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's playing so menacingly right now, just playing on the counter as opposed to approaching when his own, when his own back is against the wall and that will get him out of these situations. Calls him out with the Shoryuken through the platform, and very, very early into game one, that's such a good read. Vladin already looking shaken. Nito just was all over him, read him like he's reading his iPhone at the moment. Such, such a good call out. Yep, probably. Maybe silencing something. Silencing the doubters after that game one. Mm -hmm. Game number two, Vladin versus Nito. Opting to go for Smashville. Um, interesting counter pick for Vladin. I guess he wants to make the stage as small as possible, so he has more of an opportunity to get Nito off stage. Right. That's not necessary. This, you know, the smaller blast zones will probably help. Lucina doesn't necessarily have a bad stage. Lucina's best stage is just whatever her opponent's worst stage is in those situations. And Ooh, trying to go for the dare, but good DI out coming in from Vladin. When the stage itself is, you know, on the smaller side, that's an advantage for someone who has a lot of tenacity when playing in the air. Good call out with the Shoryu. Yep, trying to go for these up tilts. Oh, got him with the nair to dare coming in from Nito. That was a great confirm. Goes for the dare and gets an early spike. Not even a minute in and already a stock has vanished. Boy Four. throw. Yeah. From Vladin will pressure him off stage. Has his back turned. Perhaps wants to go for a bear to finish it off. The Dancing Blade connects with its final hit. Oh, nice tech coming in from Nito though. Getting him with the up tilt to up tilt to shore you. 47% quick. Nito hitting him with the bear too earning his black belt at the moment, just throwing all sorts of different options, makes it back with the Tatsu, not even needing a jump. Oh, he accident, he Hadouken the wrong way. 
He was expecting to go f uh, to get a, um, a Tatsu, but sometimes this game just doesn't want Ken to survive. But no matter, Nito closes out a stock right after. It just says, I don't need my stock, I only need yours. Dancing Blade just connects with the first couple of hits, but falls out of it by the end, and that will regain stage control for Nito. It's Dude. off stage. The Hadouken won't connect. Ken's damage output is gross. He's still... He had him, like, two comp... Oh, no, he saved him. Oh, no, he, he didn't tech, and he died for it. Now, all of a sudden, just a roller coaster of emotions for Valadin from being dead to an SD to being saved to missing a tech once more. From low to high, back down to the lows of losing game two of winner's finals. Yep. And, man, Nino been... Nito's been killing it, and I feel like Valadin could put a little bit more pressure off stage, but he's having an issue with dealing with um, how Nito's been mixing up his recovery. Like, usually Valadin is like trying to hover on the lower end, trying to catch him, trying to stab to ledge, but Nito uses his focus to like counteract the first fair. Cancels it and then he goes for the Shoryuken. And that he died for that? He did indeed. He the died smash for that. closes out within 20 seconds. Nito absolutely tearing through this winner's final set. Nair. Up air. No, you got. Those air dodges in are scary. Like, I feel like he could rack up so much more damage with Dolphin that. Slash out of shield coming in from Valadin will get him off of him, but only for the moment. He's like a pesky fly, just keeps returning. Mm hmm. Oh, nice parry. And this is going to be big damage. Big boy damage. Throws out the Hadouken. The Shoryuken, good DI to the corner from Valadin, but he's off stage. Oh, went for the spot dodge. Tatsumaki, that might have been a misinput. I mean, it, it worked out, so <laughs> he's in winner's finals. I'm not. Oh, missed out on the medium jab. Went oh, he shield breaker. Yo, he went for like some crazy read. I thought like he was, I thought he read that spot dodge. He was just gonna let that rip. Oh, missed out on the, on the heavy jab. And there's a Shoryuken, not gonna kill. Oh, that killed, but man, Vladin's just having issues, just finding kind of like gaps in between uh, Nido's neutral. Now, this is a dominant performance from, Ni from Nido. This could be the end of it. This could be a three stock if we're not careful, but Vladin, not willing to let that happen. Finding clawing. He's oh. open. Good tech. Does not want to get stage bike. Falls out of the dancing blade. Oh, that's not what he wanted to do. He needed to cancel that, and he needed to get out of there. But still can't really. Uh, Vladen still can't find a way to close out this stock. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Dolphin uppy. Monkey, the dolphin slash going to send him from one side of the stage to the other, but not quite to the side blast zone. Returns Ooh, in the sure Not going to kill. Yo, what? Dude, he's just going for it. He's a monster. Oh. You know, the up air through the platform. Can't do that. Not quite. Oh, he's dead. Good night. Oh, he did the push, too. He jumped up and pushed him off. And that's going to be it. Nito taking a 3-0 on winner's finals against Vlad and Vlad and having issues trying to deal with Nito's pressure. Yeah, from the way those first two games were going, I thought, you know, okay, we might be seeing a Mario counterpick now. He has a Samus that might do well 